So, let's set up your Gravatar. Now, if you're wondering, what is a Gravatar? A Gravatar really is called a globally recognized avatar. And it's an image, whether it's a headshot or a logo or something else that follows you online. All right, so here's an example. Um, when you set up your Gravatar, when you start commenting on blogs, it will show your face versus someone who doesn't have a Gravatar. Um, what's great about your Gravatar is that it's only associated with your email address. So whether you have a, um, a blog on WordPress or somewhere else, um, any blogger with an email address can and should have a Gravatar. There's many different ways to get your blog on the map. And for me, one of the easiest and quickest way is with your Gravatar. It helps you put a face to your brand. So if you've been thinking about your visual brand, um, this Gravatar can help you associate that brand with you and your blog. So new people want to know more about you and what you look like. And a good blogging practice is to respond to any blog comments on your blog. So if you have a Gravatar, every time you respond to those comments, it will show your face. And this helps you stand out. Um, so as you're scrolling through the comments, you can see some people don't have a Gravatar, but, but you would, so that would stand out. And the people that do have a Gravatar, it does stand out. And it can also help you drive traffic. You know, having a comment that's associated with a picture makes it more inviting and wants people to click over if you have a blog. Uh, for example, like Lois here, she added her, her blog right there. So I can click on it and she writes a really nice comment and it's valuable. So it makes me want to head on over to her site and say, well, what's this woman all about? You know, let me learn a little bit about her. All right. So setting up your Gravatar is quite easy. Um, you need to go to uh, gravatar.com and you need to uh, click on this button, create your own Gravatar. Sign up. You're going to, while you're signing up, you're also going to be signing up for a WordPress account and that's okay. Um, that's, that's just part of this process. So once you do, you're going to be sent a confirmation email. And once you get on that email, click on the link and it takes you back here and then you can sign up again. Um, with your WordPress um, name and password, which is the same as your Gravatar. So it's all one in one. Once you do that, then you can um, add email addresses. So if you have more than one, you can add them. Um, and then you can pick the primary email address to show your Gravatar photo. And you can use different photos for different email addresses or all the same photo for different email, address, email addresses. It's up to you. So once you... Um, pick one, you need to add a, an image. So you click here and there are different ways to upload your image. So I'm just going to upload and choose my file. Here we go. All right. And you can just crop it. You can decide what you want to show. If you just want to show your face up in personal like that. Um, there you go. Maybe I'll just do that. Okay. And you can rate your Gravatar. I suggest you just keep it, you know, G rated. <laughs> and there you go. So now I have my Gravatar. So when I use this email address, when I comment on a blog, or when I send up to an email service provider um, or forum, it will follow me if I use this email address that's associated with that Gravatar. All right. There you go.